going to be a comparison video slash review of none other than the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder and also compare it to the famous Ben Nye Banana Powder. So the powder looks like this, for those who don't know, I'll do a close up and just to show you what it looks like. It is slightly more yellow than the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but with this one I feel like it does complement a lot of darker skin tones. So someone like me, or even if you're darker than me, you can definitely use this shade. And the, the thing I like about this, it's it's just so much more finely milled. It's just so much more smoother, it applies a lot smoother. So what I do is to put it under my eyes, uh, my nose and top of my forehead, and sometimes on my chin, but usually I get really oily on my chin, so I tend not to do anything. I tend not to put anything there and then just like to my um, the sides of my cheekbones if I was to compare it with the banana powder I feel like this one doesn't give you that cakey feel depending on how much you use and it also doesn't give you that cast that white cast when you take photos when you take a photo of a flash you normally get that white line usually people can tell where you've applied your under eye powder I feel like it passes that test you don't get that flashback you get a kind of sieve. It usually just distributes a good amount of powder. I use a dry beauty blender. I find it looks better on me with a dry beauty blender. I use a damp beauty blender to apply my concealer and then I use a dry one to apply my powder and what I do is just to pack it, literally pack it under my eyes, let it just sit for like five, ten minutes and then just wipe it off and kind of blend my face powder along with it as well and it just looks really good. So. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. It's so amazing. Everybody raves about it. You know I'm very critical when it comes to certain products, but I really, really like this. So I would definitely tell you to check it out. Honestly, I don't even reach for my Ben Nye powder. It just sits there now. This is literally my go-to for setting my under eye. I'm not sure if it comes in other shades, like other darker shades like the Ben Nye ones do, but I will put the link below. But I know they have other face powders in their range, so I will put the link to that. And I think I might have a code for you as well, so check the description box for that. But that's pretty much it, there's nothing else I can say. This is an amazing product, they don't have it in the UK, but they do ship to the UK. I will put the link for you, um, you might be able to get it in the UK, I am very very doubtful of that. But so far I've only been able to find it in the US, but if I do find it I'll put the link for you. I'll put some links to the videos where I've used this product and I will definitely be featuring a lot more. They actually also now come with a compact form. So this is the same shade but in a compact. I think it's a lot more like travel friendly and for people who don't want to use the powder or can't use the powder, a loose powder, it now has a compact. I've tried it the one time, I kind of just, I'm used to using the loose powder but I feel this is also a good, it's also a good um, product as well. If you not really want to use powders or you just not want to you don't have the time basically I would also try the compact as well it's literally exactly the same shade just in a compact form so that's it for the video if you want some more review videos on certain products let me know and I will get that for you as long as I have them if I don't have them then it's a bit difficult to review them but if you have some suggestions on things to review or you want me to try out I will try to do so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys